Good, good afternoon. We, we're, it's 2 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get started. If y'all bow with me, I'll uh, open us in prayer. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for the blessings of this life, Lord. Thank you for life itself, Lord. Just want to thank you for this great state of Georgia we get to call home, Lord. We ask now that you just lead, guide, and direct us in everything we do. that would be pleased in thy sight. And all things we ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, this time we've got one bill on the agenda today. Uh, this is the Environmental Quality Subcommittee meeting in uh, House Bill 355. And this is a bill that we passed out of this committee uh, last year. I believe it was un unanimous. Uh, but I'm going to ask uh, Representative Weedauer if he will uh, present the bill for us again. So we'll refresh our, our uh, memory. If anybody has any questions, we will uh, entertain those. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as, uh, as he stated, I'm here with uh, House Bill 355, LC 44-1612ER. Um, this was a bill that came before you last year. Uh, it's something we're very excited about for uh, specifically Georgia-grown products. Um, in the emerging carbon uh, credit uh, world, uh, this is something that uh, was giving us uh, an opportunity to have a leg up, quite frankly, on the rest of uh, the union here and being the first state to really uh, jump in in this. So um, it is not a simple bill in the sense of uh, science, but what it really does is it it creates an environment where a commission comes up with a set of standards that allows for uh, very high quality carbon credits to be traded on the global market. And it uses Georgia grown products to encourage that. So we are, uh, this could be, this could be lumber, this could be concrete, but this is specifically building products being added to the carbon registry in efforts of expanding our carbon credit abilities. So, uh, Kind of quickly walking through the bill it is a little bit long so i'll try to try to get through it as quick as i can here uh, in section 12 6 line 76 through 81 is getting in through uh, <coughs> goes through the definition of uh, embedded embodied carbon uh, the big difference there uh, embedded is a carbon the carbon that's actually in something literally you weigh that trash can and know the amount of carbon is in that. Uh, <clears throat> the, em the embodied carbon is the life cycle of a tree all the way through lumber and through, the, through its existence, the entire life cycle assessment. Those are the two different uh, differences between embedded and embodied. Uh, going on to 12.6.223, lines 95 through 97, um, it adds the uh, sustainable building materials to the list of stated purposes in the car uh, carbon registry. Uh, going on to section 12.62241, um, this outlines <clears throat> specifically on 147 the establishing of the Sustainable Building Material Technical Advisory Committee. Underneath that, it goes into how those people are going to be appointed. These will not be appointed through. Uh, uh, these are going to be experts in the field. Okay, some of these are going to be from, one will be from Georgia Tech, uh, Georgia State Minimum Standard Codes. There's going to be several different experts that are going to be appointed to this to establish uh, what I think is really the most important part of this bill, which is actually included on lines 170 through 174. Specifically, the last six um, uh, items, which is establishing a carbon baseline, additionality, validation, verification, performance, and co-benefits. Those six qualities are what are going to set how the, the quality of the carbon credits as, we, as they are compared against other carbon qu credits that are sold globally. Uh, it'll put us at the top of the list of valuable carbon credits, thus incentivizing someone to participate in this. Again, not a, this is not a mandate. This is an ability to participate uh, situation. Uh, moving on to 12.6.228. Uh, um, it, it awards, this is uh, established the credits will only be awarded developers after verification and validation. Verification and validation is, again, what's going to, it's what's going to keep the quality of these credits, okay? You have to validate and verify that the carbon that we're selling, the carbon credits that we're selling actually, it actually occurred. Uh, you don't just put it on paper and say that it's out there. It's gotta be real and tangible 
Uh, and because the people that are dealing in this field are, are experts and they're going to know if our carbon credits in the state of Georgia are worth what we say they are. Um, <clears throat> The commission will, on 23, 23, 223 and 224, they'll maintain a list of cr uh, credible third-party organizations to do that verification and validation. And then on 227, 229, we talk about uh, <clears throat> the commission will be able to deduct and retain a, free, a fee from those credits so that the commission that's being formed is sustainably financially. Um, that is uh, one last thing on uh, 288 through 293. It just states that the uh, State Forestry Commission will be reviewing the rules and regulation over a five-year period to ensure that this program is working efficiently. Kind of a long bill. Uh, we could get in the weeds pretty easy, but it's a, it's a program that we have uh, spent the better part of a year and a half uh, working through and working with a lot of people that uh, are incredibly intelligent in this field and just super excited about this for uh, the state of Georgia and certainly will field what other questions I can. Thank you. Uh, other, I mean, there's companies like Delta is buying these credits now. Is that correct. not correct? And correct. They're, they're having to buy them from other countries. That's correct. That, that, that are doing this this same thing. This and this just allows us to do it in in Georgia. That's correct. Uh, in in there aren't uh, there, other states aren't doing this just yet, and we're we're going to set the bar for. And again, this is it's it's utilizing things that we're already producing in the state of Georgia. And, and going through the process of verifying and validating their carbon ab ability to sequester carbon so that we can produce a carbon credit that's valuable on the global market. And, and you mentioned concrete being one of those. You, you put carbon-infused concrete. That, that's where, correct. Where it's capturing that carbon in there, that, that would qualify. So this, we're just not talking wood products. Mass we're, timbers, we're, but it's concrete. Mass, it's all building any, products. Any building material yes, sir. could qualify yes, sir. Uh, for this credit. And the validating part is what... What we we've got a high standard set in this bill. Those last six characteristics on uh, uh, what, 178, I believe it was. Uh, those so those six characteristics are what are going to drive the value and the quality of these carbon credits. And as compared to other countries that do it, this, this would be the gold the standard. Yeah. So. so we'll be the only state in the union that is doing this currently. Yes. And this is totally voluntary. If you want to participate in this, this not it'd be a correct. So, uh, great idea. N number one, Madam Chair. So thank you for bringing this bill to us. And um, just to reinforce what you're saying, we're not creating the market. The market exists. That's correct. We are identifying products from Georgia in hopes of being able to enter this market and therefore help our. Uh, suppliers and builders reap the benefits as well as our corporations. That's correct. And while putting the guardrails on it to ensure that we're putting a quality carbon credit out there to increase the value, thus hopefully increasing the interest in participating. So this is like diving in to the deep end and swimming. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other questions? Well, like I said, we, we have seen this bill last year uh, and, and it passed out of this committee but uh, seeing no further questions now be the proper time we have we have a motion and a second do we have any further discussion uh, thank you Mr. not not seeing any uh, all in favor say aye. aye any opposed you have your bill thank you chairman eight eight o'clock Thursday morning full committee uh, we will hear the 355.